everybody. Good evening. How are you? Hope you're having a wonderful evening. It is now the night before Valentine's Day. And surprise, surprise, we got a rage. That's right, folks. We got a rage. We knew it was in there. We knew that Chantal wanted a rage and we got a rage. Boy, did we get one. So she just did a live and she was raging pretty much all the way through about many different things. And I had the live on and I was doing stuff around the house and getting stuff done, just listening to her, just trying to figure out what she was really mad at exactly. Like what was the core of her anger? And there were just so many issues thrown in that I'm like, let's take a step back. Let's really take a step back and look at the full picture. Let's let's get rid of the conversation and look beyond that. I think she's mad because tomorrow is Valentine's Day and she likes to brag about having a husband and husband is still going to be off camera. So she can't do a little video showing him getting her flowers and getting her a gift and him pinching her cheek and giving her a really sad, pathetic hug. She can't do that. So she's mad. When she did the live, it was very late where she's at because uh, her time and our time in the Western world is different. Kuwait is, I believe, seven or eight hours ahead of us. So it is four o'clock in the afternoon here, almost the evening. So it would be around what, like, uh, like around midnight, 2 a.m., where she's at. So she's up late. She's alone. She's miserable. She's mad. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. And she's taking out all of her anger and frustration on all of us because we make perfect punching bags. She can say whatever she wants to people on the Internet, and there are no consequences for her actions nor her words. She's not going to do half of the things she does to people on with us in real life because there would be consequences but if she's feeling ragey she's going to take it out on people in a cowardly way there's a lot of stuff to talk about so i will pre-warn you this might be a bit of a longer video so if you're settled down to watch this or if you happen to be one of my viewers that you listen to the reacts via your headphones or a pair of earbuds and you're getting stuff done around the house or just doing whatever this is going to be one of the longer ones because there's a, there's a lot to unpack. A lot. But I will set you up to be a bit more calm for it because a lot of the things that Chantal is saying, they are infuriating. They're going to make you angry. So let's just have a moment of calm. Courtesy of my other channel, the Roses and Rain Relaxing Ambiance channel, I'm just going to show this very briefly. Okay, something that I made and I put together. Let's just watch this for just a second and just let's all relax together. That's a really pretty video that I made, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I'm so proud of it. I love making relaxing stuff for you guys, and it's also for me, too. This is how I relax. This is how I get my creative juices flowing. I wish I could play the whole thing, but I can't. There's just too much going on with Chantal. So we got to get into the other stuff. So let's start with something fairly simple, and it relates to Chantal News. So as everybody knows... Chantal is on a quest. She put herself on a quest to get to 100K. She really wants to get to 100K just to say she's at 100K so she can just throw it in our faces. Where's your 100K channel? And it looks like she's trying to get to 100K before her birthday in March. Now, in the past, Chantal has bought subs. And she's trying to be covert about it, you know, buying a hundred at a time, trying to sneak it past YouTube. Now she's being not so subtle about it. 
let me show you how. So let me just show you this, okay? All right. I, I like to give context. I do like to give context so you guys can see. So there is her page channel, uh, her profile. Look at the number, 98.9. Yesterday, it was 98.1. She gained 800 new subs overnight. How is that possible? When she is making a point to do boring content and she's not getting much in the way of views. And again, we're doing this for context. So she did the live. It just ended like almost an hour ago, 2.1 K views. She did a video today showing herself eating a sub and chips, 4.8 K views. That's really bad, Chantal. Oof. What else we got here? Where are her current videos? I'd like to take a look at them. Uh, the sushi video, 7.7. .7. Egyptian food, 9.8. I mean, considering the fact that she's almost 100K, this, these are bad numbers. For a smaller channel, they would be amazing numbers. But because her channel is much bigger, that should be double the number, if not triple. But you guys can see she was at 98.1 yesterday. Now she's at 98.9. So I think that she's trying to use some of maybe her cameo money to buy subs to get to 100K by her birthday. But because for some strange reason, she is obsessed with getting that YouTube plaque. Although it's just a piece of wood with some engraving on it. You can go to Home Depot and get a piece of wood for a lot cheaper and <laughs> just paint it up. You know? You know, like, you're bragging about a piece of wood. Okay. Whatever you say, Chantal. But there's there there's that. Now, let me show you this. Okay, so let me just find what I need to find. All right. I'm just, I'm flipping through tabs because I want to make sure I'm showing everything correctly. Do, 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 do. All right. So what are we looking at? We're looking at her numbers. Oh, look. February 2nd, 2024, she bought 100 subs. But look down here. This bottom number is what we're looking at. 213, 2024, plus 800. How is that possible? Unless she's buying subs. Now, if she were doing amazing content and really entertaining people and really generating interest, I would say, yeah, that's probably possible. But she's tried doing video game playthrough lives that were total fails. She's doing mukbangs that are not professional. So how would she high, have had that high of a number? She's buying subs. She has put herself on a quest to get to 100K. She wants to do it by her birthday, apparently. So, yeah. You know, not only do you buy fake husbands, but you buy subs. Like, th that's that's where you're at, Chantal. That's what's going on. Okay, so we got a lot of Twitter stuff to go over. A lot of interesting tidbits on Twitter. I've been gathering them all up so I can share them with you guys. So let's just go over those before we get into the live. Because like I said, it's a lot. It is a lot. You're going to get mad. Uh, Milky Chai says, you ever seen it when a ring causes the finger to get degloved? I don't know if that's, if her fingers look like that because of a filter, because that just looks weird. Her fingers look all wavy and bumpy. That doesn't look normal. But I will say she needs to take that ring off. It looks like it's going to cut off the circulation. Ah, oh, let's see. Michael B. Petty says, apparently in the West, we don't care about the world because we watch the Super Bowl. Meanwhile, Chantal spends every free waking moment complaining about reaction channels, raging in community posts, and doing mukbangs. Yeah, and she's supposed to be a newly reverted Muslim woman, and yet she does many things that would be considered haram. She curses she gossips, she's gluttonous, she doesn't keep herself clean. I mean, she, 
smoke cigarettes on camera, being high on camera, completely haram. And here's a post from Mo Translates. Mo, we have missed you in the community. We're so glad you're back. You are such a jewel in this community. Uh, Mo says, since Chantal is raging and she just said Salah's name is religious, that's incorrect. It is not a religious name. It is an Arabic name meaning goodness, just as Natter's name means rare. How come she has no problem calling Natter Natterd all the time? Well, she moves the goalpost depending on her narrative. You know, I do remember back in the day when she had issues with Natter, she would tell the reaction channels, go ahead, talk about Natter. And then they were, when they were back on again, she would defend him. So it, she'll move the goalpost depending on how she wants to play the game. Uh, this is a this is from Miss Anthropope, and this clip comes from the new live. Uh, Miss Anthropope Lulu says she doesn't care or look how many subs she has. Says the woman who couldn't break 400 in a live, but suddenly has 800 new subs. Ma'am, stop. We know you're buying them with your cameo money. Let's watch the clip. I don't care. Like, you're going to apologize for something you didn't consciously, like, know about? Like, that's so stupid. No, I don't care. People can be snowflakes. People can be offended. You can cancel me. You can unfollow me. I never care. I don't care. I don't even look at how many subscribers I have. I don't give a shit. I'm well, if you don't care about your subscribers, if you don't care how many subs you have, why are you buying subs? Why are you buying them? Why the number jump up from 98.1 to 98.9? Like that seems like that's on your bucket list or a life goal or something. You are determined to get to 100K. So let's just say you do buy your way to 100K. Then what? You've got a channel with 100K subs. A lot of them are fake. That doesn't mean extra engagement. It doesn't mean extra money. It doesn't mean extra anything. It's just a stupid, silly bragging point that means nothing to no one except to you. But it doesn't. it's not going to make your channel more profitable. What's going to make your channel more profitable and popular is great content, and yet you refuse to make it. But go ahead, Chantal. I'm going to live my life. Um, that's my opinion. It's not anti-Semitic for me. It's a mythical creature. So what she's talking about right here, like there was a lot of back and forth in her life about the term goblin. It's a very offensive term for, uh, in reference to anyone who might be Jewish. Like there's, there was a lot of talk about that in her life. So uh, y you'll see when we watch the live. And too bad, whatever. I don't care. I'm not... <laughs> Screw you if you ever think, ever think I'm ever going to even, add, like, never, never, never apologize for anything. With her. Of course not. You don't apologize for anything because you don't feel like you're ever in the wrong when you are. That's why you'll never change. You have no sense of remorse or regret. You have no sense of accountability or responsibility. Everything is everybody else's fault. It's only when you take accountability and responsibility that you can actually change for the better. It's okay to say you're wrong when you're wrong. It's okay to admit to a mistake. It's okay to say, I was speaking out of the wrong side of my mouth and I'm sorry. Saying I'm sorry does not make you weak. It just means you've grown as a person and you realize right from wrong. Okay, another one from Mo Translates. Mo says to Chantal, the only uncultured moron, this is your reminder that if your husband told you it's over, this means your Mishar marriage is over. Your husband wants to put his blank on a cross is blasphemous and punishable by law. And there are secret parties, rugs, sex, and alcohol in the Middle East. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can find things if you know where to look in whatever place in the world you are. Uh, but here is the community post. Well, Chantal was just going off about Salah being out at 2 a.m. She says, quote, her husband is out at 2 a.m. Yuck, yuck, yuck. He didn't go out at 2 a.m. He left at 11 p.m. 
I said in my live stream, he was out a, at a di, Diwanya. I am so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I mean no offense. All of you accusing him of something shady are so culturally ignorant, it's unreal. He literally video chatted with me while at the barbecue. Women do not socialize with men. People stay out late here, especially in the winter. Can you all please seriously get lives and read a book, especially on different cultures? You really need to stop spreading hateful, false information around because you look like uncultured morons. There are no nightclubs here. There are no bars. I know you all salivate at the idea of our relationship being ruined, but it's stronger than ever. So stay mad and stay ignorant. Also to those making videos about my mukbangs, you hate them so much, but watch them. Do you know how ridiculous that is? Oh, wait, you need content. Well, I react to your mukbangs, but I don't watch them. I can't. I, I can't watch you eat, Chantal. You're gross. It, and I don't want anybody in my audience who might have food issues to get triggered. So I cut that part out. I, I just want the audio. That's the only valuable thing about those mukbangs is the audio. The eating, I can easily leave that on the cutting room floor. Okay? Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Um, John Galt says, dang, I could disapprove that there's no nightlife in Kuwait on the first page of Google. They even list addresses. <laughs> so I guess there is a nightlife in Kuwait. It's just that she never goes out. So she's not going to know about it. But I believe it. I believe it. Okay, lock and key. Uh, this has to do with Chantal and her 100K plaque. Uh, Lock and Key says, so if someone posts, even if she gets it, it won't be in Foodie Beauty name since she changed it. Yeah. They... <laughs> so she changed her handle from Foodie Beauty to Everyday Miriam. But Foodie Beauty is her brand. So even if she gets the plaque, it's going to be for Everyday Miriam, not for Foodie Beauty. And we know she's not happy with the Everyday Miriam handle. She wants the Foodie Beauty handle back so are you going to get the plaque in everyday miriam and what's going to happen if you change back chantal people are going to see that plaque behind you and go who's that <laughs> who's that uh this is courtesy of havasu mom hi havasu mom and mo mo says fyi kalba in arabic means biatch let's watch why are you ranting at her? She's a dog. Kelba. Yeah, isn't that something that she can learn some dirty words in Arabic? She'll make sure to learn those, but she can't learn conversational words, like how to talk to people and be social. She'll make sure to learn all the bad words. Chantal with her dirty mouth. Queen of WTF says, wowza. Y'all look. So I don't know exactly when these pictures were taken. Let's see. I think this picture was taken when she was still with BB. I think that's it. But look at the difference in Chantal. This was her when she was back in the 300s. This is her now. So she's trying to tell us she hasn't gained that much weight. I beg to differ. I mean, pictures don't lie, okay? Pictures do not lie. And this was with the filters on, y'all. This is with the filters on. So she was in the high 300s in this picture. The last true weigh-in she gave us was when she was with BB. She got on the scale. She showed the number 377 pounds. So this was her in my 300s here. And this is her now. And that's why I say I think she's about 550. There's a huge difference there. Uh, Hidden Truth says, this is kind of sus that it's only showing she's buying subs and likes. There's no way she got this many in a 24-hour period. Especially since no one can find her since she changed her channel name. That's right. So since somebody else snagged her channel handle... And people are having trouble finding her under Everyday Miriam. How is it that she managed to get 800 new subs? I mean, the math ain't mathing. The math is absolutely not mathing. 
All right. We've already okay, we got to do something fun from Boot and Vegan. This was smooth. <laughs> He's just gonna slide right in. There you go. Boom. Yup, yup says, what in the heck is going on with your finger? Yeah, time to take that ring off, Chantal. Okay, now this is interesting. Y'all pay attention to this from Christy K. Uh, she says, here you go, foodie beauty. Listen to someone who obviously knows Arab culture. Remember when you believed Natter and Dini were not having sex? You're a dummy. Maybe you need to read some books. I guess this comes from Reddit. This person says, leaving T to Diwaya at 11 p.m. isn't normal. Culturally, Diwana in Kuwaiti tradition is where men discuss business and politics and do networking. Younger men just hang out and play games or watch football. Each family has a Diwanya and it's named like the Smith Diwana. So like my husband and his dad and brothers all go to the grandpa's Diwanya. This is their family one. The Diwanya is also a specific place, usually a small building attached to the main house. Currently, the trend is to have them with big glass fronts. Salah is hanging out with friends and calling it Diwanya. It's not the Kuwaiti tradition of Diwanya. It's just hanging out. Maybe 12 is normal in his circles, but my husband and his circle of friends do Diwanya at 7 p.m. Don't let this ignorant woman shame you guys. She is so ignorant. It's well known amongst women in Kuwait that going to Diwanya is the number one lie told when a man is cheating. Well, that was an interesting tidbit. Thank you for posting that, Christy. And what else we got here? Uh, Hidden Truth says, Foodie Beauty. She doesn't have a bank account or own anything in her name. Many banks in Kuwait require proof of residence when opening an account. So it may take a while to get anything done. Well, she's on a tourist visa. So how she could op how can she open a bank account there? Let's see. What else we got here? Looking, looking. Uh, Mrs. Flupa Booty says, whether he left at 11 p.m. or 2 a.m. doesn't make a difference. He's not there. He doesn't want to be with you. We are blind and we aren't stupid. You tell on yourself all the time, everyday delusional Miriam. Love that for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, look, I'm not, I'm not throwing shade at anybody who's a night owl, but I think it's highly unusual for a man to leave his wife at such a late hour. Like at 11 p.m., you're going to go out. Usually when you go out, you start earlier, so you've got plenty of time to do whatever it is you want to do but to leave at 11 and then come back at two sounds like a little red room visit to me you know sounds like a little red room visit okay now this is okay like i'm, I'm giving you guys a warning this is kind of disturbing her stomach growled here and there was no reason for it to growl she's not hungry it's not a hungry growl. It's something else. Y'all listen, courtesy of Miss of Lulu, Miss Anthropope. For example, for example, I don't want to be gross. I'm not trying to be gross, but that growl, if that came from her stomach, I don't think that was from her stomach. She just ate three trays of sushi. There's no way it was a hungry growl. That sounded like, girlfriend, you got five minutes to get to that bathroom and grab a roll of toilet paper because you effed around and you're about to find out. That is a warning. You better get to a bathroom quick. You know, like like your body's about to unleash on you. Okay, something positive from Yog. Look at the little beaners. Aw, looks like booger, only a little bit darker, but look. It. <laughs> I think that's precious. Buddies for life. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So I think we're done with that. Let's just get out of here and go directly to the live itself. So I, and I'm warning you, it's it's a lot, y'all. 
it's a lot. Let me just get out all these windows so that I can focus on what I need to. Okay. All right. So y'all ready? I'm telling you, this is going to be a long one. Get your snacks, get your coffee, your hot cocoa, whatever you need, because this is going to be a long one. All right. You've been forewarned. So let's see. Put her up there. Let's go. Look at that face. She's she is angry about something and i don't think it has to do with any of us i really don't think so nothing extraordinary has happened i think she just wants to let go of some steam and it has to do with salah but she's too much of a coward to scream at him because he's her lifeline in kuwait <laughs> Darine, you're always first hey tangerine Hello, West Coast Loss. Lynn, a lot of people are ignorant. I know I look really tired, I am. Veronica. Hi, Nestle. Of course. Dread of the Dead. Blue Pods. Tanya. Stephanie. Shakespeare, Little Nitty, Jenny. I see you unblocked me. I went through my blo unblock list, my block list. <clears throat> That's another way you can tell she's hurting for money. If she's unblocking people, she's desperate. She's going through her block list and she's unblocking everybody because she wants people to come back and possibly buy a membership. You know, Chantal, if you stop spending money on unnecessary fake subs and ridiculous amounts of money on food, you'd be all right. But you're spending your money in the wrong ways. Caroline, Jennifer. Yeah, blue pot. <laughs> Salam alaikum, ghost face. <clears throat> no, Daniel, I haven't used those Ozempic in a long time. ABC yeah, because she can't afford it. Ozempic is not cheap, y'all. I mean, I looked it up back when she used it the first time. I was curious about how much Ozempic costs. Let's put it this way. I could pay my rent for two months with just one dose of that. It, it costs anywhere between 900, 1200 bucks just for a one month supply. And I think I cannot confirm exactly, but I think at the time Chantal had that paid for by her insurance because it was not cheap she stopped using the ozempic anyway because it wasn't working fast enough plus it was interfering in her ability to have b moments she didn't like the way it stopped her from eating you see daphne hello jinx lisette hello creepy Rhonda, talia.com hot tea <sighs> chris um yeah, sure, Miss Carrasco, I know. <laughs> Lisa, maybe I need to turn one more light on. Hold on. It keeps blurring. Hi, everybody. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I turned off half. I, I turned on, I compromised. I turned on uh, half the lights, okay? Oh. So... So, Miss I Got Sciatica Queen, you just walked across the room just fine and plopped down in your chair. You just told on yourself. Biatch, you don't have sciatica. You never had sciatica because if you did, you wouldn't be doing all of that. Plopping down in your chair. Miss me with that sciatica pain. <clears throat> I have CPAP marks still. I've been sleeping so weird. It wasn't the same day, Blue Pod. It was technically two different days. 
Hello, Gizmo. <laughs> Hi, Susie. It depends what you need, Daniel. Hi, Golden Girl, Veronica. Sometimes I watch her videos. Sometimes I don't really like. Um, I'm just behind on everybody's videos. It's midnight here. Babs. So it's midnight. He's obviously not there. And she's mad. When she doesn't have to be mad. She's alone at the house. She could just chill, watch TV, get on her phone, watch something relaxing, like an ambiance video or something, and just hang. What is she spending her time doing? It's midnight and she's mad and she's raging and she's steaming about whatever. Maybe because the next day is Valentine's Day and she, as a newly reverted Muslim woman, she's not allowed to celebrate and she's not going to celebrate it the way she wants to because Salah is not there and does not want to be on camera. And she loves to say, where's your husband? And do little videos showing him and things he's doing for her. Well, I guess she can't do that. So she's going to take out the madness on all of us. How are you feeling, Golden Girl? Hello, Matt Animations. I think so, Talia. <laughs> okay, I seem pissed off. I'm a little pissed off because people are spreading false information about me. Somebody who is completely, obviously uneducated and whom I'll never watch again in my life. Yo Mama. Okay, so for those of you that are wondering, what's going on with Yo Mama? Now, I've been on Twitter. I don't watch Yo Mama. If there's any of you that you're a fan of Yo Mama, you guys are allowed to watch whoever it is you want to watch. You can support whoever it is you want to support. You can sub up to whoever it is you want to sub up to. It's not for me to tell you what to do. Exercise your freedom as you wish. But the drama between her and Yo Mama is Yo Mama, who has supported Chantal, he did a video or a live where he basically told Chantal that her use of the term goblin is wrong. And I guess she heard about it or she saw it and she's not happy with Yo Mama. Um, now I know why they call him slow mama, no offense, but why post that picture, derogatory picture of me in a wig and then say that I'm anti-Semitic? Like, get a life. <laughs> like, you never come for FFG for being Islamophobic. And not only that, okay, so I'm, I'm apparently anti-Semitic. Here's the story. I'm apparently anti-Semitic for calling, um, number one, I get called. Okay, like, before we get deep into this, I just want to say this beforehand. There are some political issues, uh, world issues discussed in this live, and I just don't want to comment on that, so I won't. But she does some talking about uh, things going on in the world. Called that for standing up for Palestine, so I just want to clarify that. I'm not anti-Jew. I have no problem with Jew with Jewish people. I'm anti-Zionist. I'm anti occupation of Palestine. I'm anti the 75 years of history of um, killing thousands and thousands and thousands of Palestinians, a lot of them being children, children with no limbs because they bombed Rafah recently. Uh, you see it in some parts of the media, but not Western media. Western media shows you Taylor Swift kissing a new guy, whatever. But um, yeah, there's a lot of can I just say this in response to some of the things she's saying? Chantal doesn't care anything about anything except herself. And she's got a history that when it comes to the men in her life, whatever they like, she likes. Whatever they don't like, she also doesn't like. <clears throat> so whatever views that man has about politics or the world, she takes them on as well. Like her trying to take a political stance and say she supports this and she supports that. I don't really think it's her because she doesn't care about anyone but herself. I think somebody around her is just saying these things and 
feeling this way and she's just simply adopting it to herself to make it seem like she cares things going on in the world right now that people are just ignoring and it's really sick um goblin let me educate you okay before the sack of cottage what do i call her the sack of crap claimed anti-semitism number one she says i'm not muslim she's not jewish she uses that when she needs to just like there's no like do you know what i mean she's full of shit. anyways maybe if she is whatever the point is she uses this card what, and went, uh, hold on wait a minute ma'am you took the shahada you're supposed to be a newly reverted muslim woman although you're not really following the muslim faith you've gotten on camera smoking cursing gossiping being high committing gluttony all of which are haram eating things that are completely haram but saying that somebody is not jewish try girl is jewish what are you talking about you're you're trying to make an argument and your argument is stupid very very stupid to, to gain more simply like she uses bbj to get sympathy and manipulate her audience and you even though you neglected bbj you neglected her and then you gave you didn't even give her away properly that day when bbj was handed over you as her owner you didn't even do it personally you let your roommate hand the cat to the person we know now was ffg's brother or brother-in-law but you didn't even hand the cat over and you were celebrating when you gave away both your cats every time you gave one of your cats away you were celebrating that night there were no tears there was no true sadness and when bbj was arrived with fft and her family even now as the former owner someone who freely gave her away after neglecting her you still try to make bbj into a talking point still trying to capitalize on little bbj when you should leave her alone if you look, if you actually did some research, which is why I can't stand Slow Mama anymore. Hi, Mike. Saji. I don't believe that. I think they'll make up. I think that she'll apologize to him and whatever feud they may have going on or disagreement, it will pass. Welcome, Salam. Hi, Pam. Thanks, Ruth. Colleen, hi. <laughs> um, yeah, she does, JB. Go fuck yourself. Bye. Oh. <clears throat> hi amy okay so she's got open chat going like again it, another sign that she's hurting for money and she's hurting for subscribers and she's hurting for memberships because chantal hates open chat she hates the idea of anybody talking to her for free she wants everyone to pay for the privilege of talking to her but you guys are going to see in this live stream that she's not even trying to play nice people are coming in and talking to her and rather than just handle things gracefully as she could she blocks people she's rude to people uh this is the way you lose subs not make subs chantal yeah arab social media exactly it's gaslighting exactly um, go, go get bent JB. I've been wanting to block your ass for a while. Go run back and kiss her ass. You're stupid. People who just blindly follow people are just ridiculous. Hi, Jenna. So he's over there saying that I'm like, he's insinuating that I'm radicalizing everything with my post. Chantel's red wig. Hello. How it's hanging. It's hanging very good. I haven't seen that red wig in a while. Thanks for the super chat. So... And that's another thing I think she was trying to do tonight. See, in the past, you know, old school Chantal, 
she would do infuriating content. She would kick the hornet's nest on purpose. There was always a purpose behind it. And the purpose was not just to get the views, but to get people so incensed over her that they would get so mad that in a moment of rage, they would want to scream at her because they can't do it physically. They're going to send a super chat to say something rude. And she would profit off of people getting angry that way. A lot of people have caught on to what she's doing and they don't send super chats anymore. But I think tonight she was trying the same old tired tactics about making money. Let's make everybody angry. Let's make them so mad. Let's open up the chat so anybody can super chat me. And I don't care if the super chats are positive or negative. It's still money in the bank. So trying the old tricks, are you, Chantal? Well, I hope they don't work. Did I say hi to you, Jenna? You weaponizing her re religion when it's useful for her, exactly. Um, if you look at the history of Goblin and anti-Semitism, Goblin as a mythical creature predates any type of anti-Semitic talk whatsoever. And until this person brought that up, I had... And probably from one of her audience members who was like, oh, that's anti-Semitic. Um, I never knew that. I never knew anything about it. And then you'll say, oh, well, now you know, so don't use it. Screw her. She looks like a goblin. I'm referring to FFG as looking like the short, ugly, monstrous, mythical creature. Nothing else. I wonder if she realizes how unbalanced and unstable she looks right now. It's midnight. She should be in bed asleep or watching TV or something, just being peaceful. It's midnight and she's raging when she doesn't have to rage. She could easily turn away from YouTube and go do something else. But she's mad when she doesn't have to be mad. She could do what she used to do and just stay on her channel, do her content, don't pay attention to the reaction channels. Just breeze right past us and live a peaceful life. It would be just that simple. But midnight and you're up mad, raging about everything. It's not us that you're mad at, Chantal. You're mad at Salah. You're mad about the fact that tomorrow is Valentine's Day and you're not going to get any flowers. No chocolates, no card that you write stuff in, nothing. You're not going to be able to make a video showing off your husband. He doesn't want to be on camera anymore. And you keep making excuses about where he is. You keep telling your viewers, oh, he's busy. Oh, he's not here. Oh, he's doing this. Oh, he's doing that. Look, we know he's gone. We know he is. He is completely checked out away from you and YouTube. He's done on YouTube. He's not coming back. There's no reason for him to come back to YouTube. The gaming channel is done. The couple's channel is also done. He doesn't want to get on camera with you. He doesn't want to deal with the scat man poop jokes. His online presence is obliterated. You are all by yourself and you're flying solo. So that's what you're mad at because you want to brag about two things, actually three. You want to brag about your money, which is non-existent. You want to brag about the number of subs you have on your channel, which is stupid. Nobody cares. And you want to brag about your husband, but he's not there. Creatures who they were like, um, what do they call them? Fake characters. It's like they were okay. So they, Basically, they were made in, like, I think the first um, talk about goblins as mythical creatures was, like, in the 14th century, which predates any mention of it being anything anti-Semitic. So how and, like, what? You know what I mean? Yeah, Blue Pot, do you have a problem? So Rachel Lee Perillo says, Blue Pot, whose husband goes out from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m.? Well, it was a weekend. Sometimes it can happen. My ex-husband used to do it. 
you know, he liked to go out to L.A. and hang out at the clubs and they like to go out late. So it was a normal thing in Los Angeles, you know, to go to the rock and roll bars and stuff that late, hang out. And I wouldn't go. I'd just stay at home. But I don't know how it is in Kuwait, but she's married and insecure and jealous and she's not a stable, secure wife. So for her, it would be an unnatural thing. Problem with that? I'm, I don't care. Because for me, it's not a racist term. It's not about being racist. It's also a mythical creature. So that's what I'm referring to her as. FFG is a goblin in the sense of the mythological creature. I never even knew before that when I first used it, she's even Jewish because, and second, um, that it was even like tied to that in any way. If you look up the Wikipedia page, which is like educational, she, she looks like the goblin from Labyrinth. That's exactly what I meant. Um, yeah, I don't know, Louise. This is a new thing. You know what I mean? So she can call me, she, Ninja Horse, she calls me a lot worse than an ogre. So yeah. So yeah. It is educational info. Wikipedia, people refer to Wikipedia for everything else. You know, it has a very, um, you know. Okay, can we just like block people who are going to support her? But this is classic Chantal. She wants a hug box. And yet she did not set it up tonight to be a hug box. She did not put VIBs only. Open chat. So here she is being her normal nasty self. Anybody that has anything to say, any opposing opinion, she wants to block those people. So she just went through her block list and unblocked people for the purpose of those people on the block list maybe becoming members. She did open chat and she's going to turn on and block people again. <laughs> so if you support FFG, if you are subscribed to her channel, I guess, if you watch her videos, you're not allowed on her channel. This is Chantal trying to control where people go on YouTube. This big control freak. Not having the point of view of go where you want to go, do what you want to do, as other channels do. No, she wants nothing but fangirls in her audience. Nothing but supporters. So if you like FFG, you can't come to her chat. You're not allowed to go where you want on YouTube and watch where you want to watch. I freaking ridiculous. Um, this Wikipedia page is reliable. It has all the sources. So go go research it yourself. It's ridiculous. Just refer to it as a gremlin, you know? Yeah, she calls me a lot of other things. So whatever. I don't care. If you want to think I'm, I'm not anti-Semitic. If you want to think I am, I don't give a shit. You know? Yeah, bunch of snowflakes. Except for whenever they can be blatantly racist and forgive Shannon for being, like, they always, like, come, they always, like, you know, um, how would I say it? They have clear racism in front of their eyes. And then they're going to, of course, find an excuse for that. But my excuse, I don't I don't even care. I don't care what Chantal, you're a racist. You referred to Charlie Gold as Charlie Cole and then try to find a lame excuse, a workaround to justify saying that. And let's not also forget that you did the Hitler salute. So there's that. But slow mama, I don't care what any of these stupid effing gore world reactors. I don't give a shit what any of them say or any of them think anymore. Then why are you angry? If you don't care what we say and what we do, why are you acting so bothered? You're not making sense, Chantal. An unbothered person who does not care what people say does not care. You can have a million people talking behind you. You don't hear them. You're not paying attention to what they're doing. But if you're getting online and doing this live chat, getting this angry, clearly you're paying attention to far too much. 
more. I don't care. Like, if you haven't noticed, like, I don't care what their perception of me is. All they do is try to, you know. Um, is try to find things like to make up and be like, it's so stupid. <clears throat> we don't make stuff up. Yeah, no, we don't make stuff up. We got far too many receipts. We are allowed to speculate. And we do speculate, you know, to try to find the truth because we're not going to find it with her. If she did live streams where she told the truth, there would be no need for speculation. Absolutely none. But she lies too much and she gets caught a lot in her lies. I don't even know why she bothers to lie to all of us when she's such a bad liar. But for many of those lies, we've got receipts to prove the lies wrong. And in order to make her crazy story make sense, to fill in the holes, we speculate. You know, to try to make sense of it all, because sometimes it doesn't make sense. Anti-Semitism, but Islamophobia is fine according to them. And I'm not even being anti-Semitic. Like, again, look at the Wikipedia page. Look at how that mythical, mythological creature predates anything else. She looks like the goblin from Labyrinth. She looks like a goblin. Not just looks like a goblin. You know what? It's not even like that she looks like a goblin. It's that she's like, I was referring, I was thinking of the first thing of being a monster, you know, like the way she. You know, I think deep down, you know, that you are wrong because a person who knows they're in the wrong, they will over explain themselves trying to explain it away. And that's exactly what you're doing right now. You're over explaining, just trying to justify your wrong and make it seem right. He is. So, yeah, rules for thee, not for me. And and then he's like, apologize. Fuck you. Like, kiss my friggin'. No, I, I, oh yeah, sure. Apologize to FFG. Yeah, you can get bent. There isn't anything you could call her that would even come close to what she has called or said about you. Exactly. Exactly. The slow llama. Why the come salam, Polo? Hello. Wikipedia is anti-Semitic. That's what they're going to say. Yeah. So stupid. Hi, Khadija. Hi, everyone who isn't a troll sweaty. <laughs> Julia, why is it like doing that? I just think it's weird that it's midnight. It's midnight. And she's raging about this at midnight. She claims all the time that she's busy and she's got so much to do. But clearly, whatever she does in her day, it's not enough. Midnight, late at night, and she's raging. Absolutely raging. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I say that, she went like this. So, hello, C-Roller. I just wanted to say that. Um, really, just eight? What's hard is this upcoming generation is so far gone due to social media and the way people are being brought up. Can't say much for people who are agents still alumni. I know. I stopped watching, like, any of these people... And I still watched Yo Mama time to time, um, but not really, you know, that much anymore. So now I'm just done. I'm done paying attention to anything. Um, nobody brings up the fact that she calls me Mary Ham. Uh, they just say, oh, it's not anti-Semitic. It's because you wear uh, pink. Where? Where do I wear pink? Where do I wear the color ham? They can make excuses, again, for that. And making fun of Salah just because you don't like him. I don't give a crap. Or just because whatever. Like, that's a religious name. And you're good. Like, it's okay for her, the stupid freaking pig goblin, to do it. I don't care. I can use whatever term I want. Um, it has nothing to do with her being Jewish. So I'm putting that out there right now. 
there's nothing about it. Like I said on their freaking main Wikipedia page, it's a mythological creature from the 14th century. If people want to try to like connect it to something else, I don't give a crap. She's calling him hairy and everything else, like insinuating that Arabs are hairy. Like I, I, like I know he had his shirt off, but still, like you know what I mean. You could say that. You could say, oh well, you're making fun of Arabs. They're gaslighting, exactly, Talia. Exactly. You know, again, if you take 10 steps back away from this live and look at the bigger picture, you'll see what's going on here. Let's put all the pieces together, ladies and gentlemen. See, here's Chantal. It's getting close to her birthday. She's got a goal to reach 100K. By her birthday, she bought a bunch of subs and she wants to get extra views. Maybe hoping to get some subs out of that. And she knows the most entertaining, attention getting thing for her channel is when she rages. So she's going to rage. I don't think she's necessarily truly, honestly mad about any of the things that she's talking about. She just needs a reason to rage. So she wants to do a really long live. She's got to have a variety of things to rage about. So she just gathered everything together that might be even remotely irritating and decided to talk about all of those things in a live because she's going for that big push of let's make a little bit of extra money and let's get some extra subs so I can get to 100K by my birthday. I don't give a crap. What, you know what, yo mama? Why don't you turn and become a foodie beauty reaction channel? Do it. I know you're going to. Hi, Teardrop. Has anyone died in your apartment? I'm not sure, actually. But it's creeping me out. But nothing has happened before that. It's too dumb to apologize. It's too dumb. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm not apologizing for something I didn't do. I don't care. Like, you're going to apologize for something you didn't consciously, like, know about? Like, that's so stupid. No, I don't care. People can be snowflakes. People can be offended. You can cancel me. You can unfollow me. I never care. I don't care. I don't even look at how many subscribers I have. I don't <laughs> right. Sure. That's why you bought 800 more today. But you don't pay attention to subs. Do you, Chantal? Listen, who do you think we're, you're talking to? You've been on YouTube for years. You pay attention to your analytics, how much money you make per video, per live how many subs you have, you pay attention to all of it. You're on top of all of it. Why do you act like you don't care? I don't give a shit. I'm going to live my life. Um, that's my opinion. It's not anti- Someone who doesn't care about the number of subs they have wouldn't go out and buy 800 new subs, ma'am. It's a medic for me. It's a mythical creature and too bad, whatever. I don't care. I'm not- <laughs> Screw you if you ever think, ever think I'm ever going to even, add, like, never, never, never apologize for anything with regards to her. Screw it. This person, like, uses, like, defames me every day, says the most vile things about my name. Screw her. Oh, my God. I went in hard on that goblin, you mama. And in return, you talk about the reaction channels. Sometimes one, sometimes more than one. You turn us into content and topics of conversation when it suits you. So just as we reactors react to you, you react to some of us. Goes both ways. It's just that some of the reactors do better than you in the way of engagement and making money than you do when you talk about us. Post. <laughs> yeah, she says Ramadan, Hamadan, like F her. And I'm not saying that two wrongs make don't make a right, but for me, no, I don't. Like the only time I ever reference her using that, like in regards to being a goblin, is like I said. <laughs> you know, you're right. Like that, there is that old saying: two wrongs don't make a right. The problem is Chantal doesn't feel like she does any kind of wrong, and even if she feels that way, she'll never admit to it. For me, goblin is. Exactly. exactly the mythical creature like an ugly troll looking i i lump them all in together troll goblin like you know everything 
the mythical creatures from when we grew up. Rebecca Yasmin, member for five months. Oh my God. I'm, oh, thank you, Rebecca. Ready, set, babies. Yeah, it's so stupid. Like, get a life. Don't pay attention. They have no life. Yeah. Ruth, welcome salam from Indonesia. I want to go there someday, inshallah. Hi, Gina. Hot tea, why not just avoid it? Because I don't know why. Why should I? Why should I bend to their demands of stupid BS? That's not even true. No, sorry. She can't claim anti Semitism while being incredibly Islamophobic with hypocrisy. I mean, you can still be like both, but it's just ridiculous. Nobody, did anyone know about that like before? Like, be real. Like, it's not like, to me, it's not an anti-Semitic term. Sorry, not when I use it. Mm -mm. And then you could like look up the term, look up any other racial slur. And burn to the ground for all I care. I'm glad you're getting better, Golden Girl. It's so weird how she can go from just raging and angry to just completely calm all within seconds. And it kind of points in the direction of Duper's delight. Because anybody watching this react right now or listening to it, when you're mad, you're mad. Like if you're really in your feelings and you're really feeling angry, you are in your feelings. And you're just going to go all the way off without stopping. It's weird how she's like putting out this image of outrage. And then the next moment she's smiling. That's why it feels phony to me. Made up. Fake outrage. Eat some lasagna. No, I don't. My daughter just adopted a cat, an orange and white one. Aw, Garfield. Try to relax and take care of yourself. Yeah, I'm relaxed. I just don't like when people accuse me of being anti Semitic for using a term that predated any anti Semitism uh, connotated, like uh, associated with it. Ileana. Sort of. I guess every day is a nice day, just being alive, but, you know, yeah, I know, Khadija. Yeah, they can say Hamadan and everything else, exactly. As soon as I heard your mama start saying that crap about you, I got off, that was so wrong. Yeah, like, what's with your asshole post? He's such an idiot. Like... I know it's hard not to be affected when I lived in Oklahoma. I had to constantly defend myself because people like to assume the worst and they're nosy. Yeah, I know. Like people ask me why I keep my circle small. That's why. <laughs> because I don't trust people and I have reason to. I don't. People are just a headache. Like I don't like I don't like drama. Like <laughs> says the drama queen. Now she's trying to paint this narrative of. I keep my circle small on purpose because I don't like drama and I don't trust people. Why don't you tell the truth, Chantal? You don't have a circle of friends because you don't know how to be a friend to anybody. You are not a person that anybody else could be friends with. You self-isolate. You're a detestable person, and most people, if they spent five minutes with you, would figure that out pretty quick. You're at the point now, in order to have company, you have to pay people to be around you. No one wants to do it for free. Natter didn't do it. Salah's not doing it. He's getting paid. And I guess, perhaps, the pay has gone down quite a bit, hence the reason why he's gone now. Because you can't meet his quota as far as what you need to pay him for him to hang out with you. So you're buying husbands. You're buying subs. <laughs> what else are you going to buy? You know, other than going off on things that people make the drama. And then sometimes I reply to it. That's it. I don't make drama, you know, on my channel. I hate it. It's stupid. It's useless. It's look she knew what she was doing doing this life she knew exactly what she was doing she loves to kick that hornet's nest and then run away back to her channel 
or to her phone, looking on YouTube, looking on Twitter, looking on TikTok. What are they saying about me? She purposely does content to get a negative response and reaction. That has her, that is how her channel has grown over the years. Not about positive content and positive responses, but negative attention. And she's doing it here. Miss, I don't care. I'm not bothered. I don't like drama causing drama right now with the things she's saying. She wants more reaction channels to cover her, to react to her. A lot of people have stopped reacting to her because she's so boring. And I don't blame them because she just gotten so incredibly boring. What is there to talk about? So she's not getting as much attention as she once did. And the views and the money reflect that. So she's trying to garner a little extra interest because she's got that goal to get to 100K. Ugh. Seriously, it's useless. I, people like need to find better things to do with their time. Like seriously, what happens if you like die next week? Like what did you do with your effing life? You sat there and talked about the same person you don't like? Ma'am, somebody who's sitting up and raging at midnight has nothing to say to anyone else about how we should spend our time when we can clearly see how you're spending your time late at night, sitting in an apartment, alone, angry, when you don't have to be. You're not angry at us. You're angry about the fact that you're a big idiot and you chose to go back to Kuwait to a man that doesn't love you and self-isolate in an apartment and be bored and miserable all alone. You actually chose that. It wasn't forced upon you. You forced that upon yourself and then you're gonna take out your anger on us? No, no, we're not gonna put up with that. You chose that life. You did. We have nothing to do with your unhappiness that way. We have nothing to do with you being bored out of your mind and full of self-frustration and self-loathing. This was all by your choosing. Eating an effing sandwich. Like, what kind of life are you living? Anyway. I mean, I'm sorry. I would rather be eating the sandwich than sitting around talking about the person eating the sandwich. It's ridiculous. I don't know. Calling Salah salad is Islamophobic. Yeah, exactly. They said it's a typo. Well, you know now that it's Islamophobic. Do you stop it? No, you double down. So you need to shut up and get off my ass about that. You know what I mean? Like, surely her lumberjack's hairy. <laughs> Ew. So this idiot in the chat, Rhonda, says, just remember, talking about the reactors, they all need you for content, all... 29 million reaction channels. She wishes there were like 29 million reaction channels talking about her. There aren't that many. A lot of them have fallen off over the years. But Rhonda's over here trying to say that we need her for content. No, she ne needs us to react to her content because her content on its own is not strong enough to stand alone. She needs us to cover her to make her more interesting because she doesn't know how to do it by herself. And if something happened to her channel and it disappeared, we can move on and do other things. It's just that there's a lot of people that are very invested in the Chantal story because it's been going on for seven, eight years. They want to keep up with it, but they don't want a raw dogger and watch her content. And so that's why we're here. Hi, April. Thanks, Lynn. I think you shouldn't react to it. Talia, I know I say this all the time. This is it. This is it for oh, me. Like, I'm done. Like, I don't care how many viewers I lose. I don't care how much subscribers I lose. I don't care about any of that crap. I never come on here and cry about it. You never see me go, oh, no, people are unsubscribing. I don't care. I never come on here and cry about my views. I don't care. I'm very grateful for everything I have. 
you know, even if I get like 500 views, I don't care. That's 500 people watching me, whatever. You know, I have a serious question for you, Chantal. Is the reason why you don't care about the views and the subs because you got a little side hustle with some feedy people and you're getting more money that way versus YouTube? Is that why you don't care? Is that why you've fallen off with the content on YouTube? Because that's usually how it goes. That if you got a side hustle that's making you a lot of money, more money than you make on, you know, uh, main hustle number one, you, you'll you stop caring about door number one and you're going to go completely for door number two. So do you have a whole lot of feedies in your back pocket that are putting money in your pocket and that's why you have this I don't care attitude for YouTube? I don't need the money that I used to to support myself. You know, I have a supportive husband. People don't believe that. I don't give a crap. Whatever. You don't. There's no possible way. Even if Salah had three jobs and was working nonstop with no sleep, that he would be able to support Chantal. Her food bill is enormous. The amount of food that she goes through, the amount of takeout that she orders, even if he worked three jobs and never slept, he would never be able to cover it by himself. You don't know anything about my life. You don't know what the truth is. All speculation. Like that person I posted on my community post. Now people are like, no wonder people think I'm a liar. Like you're making up legit lies about me. What am I supposed to do? I put my sister in a dryer and turned it on. When? When? Are you kidding? That never happened. Like basically a jilted, again, former friend who went psychotic, Kathy, and she made these posts, these lies about me on Kiwi Farms about what I did, to, like how I treated my sister was all lies. Like she's lucky I didn't go into what her history was because I'm telling you, it's not beautiful. It's worse. She's insane, the things she's done. So keep talking, Kathy. Like she's bringing up stuff from the past. And it doesn't make sense for her to get angry about things from like the distant past now. Like she is just really reaching in that closet, really bringing everything out tonight. It makes no sense to get mad at things, not only in the present that might make her angry, but let, let's talk about things from like four or five years ago. Why bring them up? Why? How does that matter now? It matters because Chantal has the goal to get to 100K, and so she's going to throw everything on the table. Anyway. Yeah. That's the thing. I can't keep defending myself and, like, you know, going after every little lie made up about me. Who cares? But this one pissed me off because it's, like, so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Snow, can Muslims celebrate? They don't typically snow, no. But I'm sure some do. He said apologize. When does FF Trash can apologize? Yeah. He likes to he likes to think, oh, I'm a fair person. I'm a fair person, whatever. So I'm gonna be a virtue signaler and call out everybody and be self and be self-righteous and sanctimonious, whatever. <clears throat> um Hi, Miss Omokbai, <laughs> silent viewer. You have grown so much in these past five years. Misery loves company as you continue to build your relationship with Christ. Um, I'm actually Muslim. <laughs> I don't know. I have a hijab and everything, so that's the way it should be. Yeah. Thanks for your money. Message was deleted. Um, wow. So th that's her attitude. Like, it doesn't matter if you're a hater or a lover. You send her money. It's money in the bank. That's why if you're someone you don't like Chantal and you get mad at her. Trying to send her a super chat or a super sticker or something. You could think of the rudest thing in the world. It won't matter to Chantal. It's not going to have any kind of impact upon her. It's not going to do what you think it will. So it doesn't make sense to send her money if you're mad at her, if you don't like her. All you're doing is putting money into her pocket. I'm not saying 
I'm telling people how to spend their money. I'm just saying, stop and think about what you're doing before you do it and why. That at the end of the day, money is money and it goes into the same account. And it doesn't matter what emotion was attached to it. It still spends the same. Um. So, yeah, that's it. I have no idea who these people are. It's be Khadija. It's better that way. These are people from like that are so obsessed with my past. They can't move on. They need to make money off my back or else they can't pay their bills. They're pathetic. They're bullies. They're pieces of crap. They're just the worst human beings. And it's an actual community that YouTube platforms. It's all bullying, hatred, drama. Um, grandmas who are like, like, there are like literal grandmas. What? <laughs> What does she have against grandmas? Doesn't she? Didn't she have a grandma? She loved her grandma so much. So you're gonna put down somebody who talks about you just because they happen to be a grandma? What's the grandma hatred about? Mother reaction channels who spend their friggin' golden years talking about me, like it's ridiculous. Get a life. Are you age shaving, Chantal? Is that what you're doing? Because, ma'am, you're almost forty. Your next birthday, you're going to be 40. You're an older woman. You really shouldn't be age shaming people. Whatever. I had no idea. Okay, so this interesting comment from Cookies and Cream saying, honestly, you need to stop giving them reactions. It's not healthy. And your loyal subs just want normal, fun content back. Yeah, her, her subs have been screaming about that for the longest. They're coming at Chantal in the comments, in her live chat, saying, we miss the fun. We miss the fun, Chantal. It used to be fun. This channel used to be fun. It's not fun anymore. And she's not listening to the people on her channel. A lot of people have told her, go back to Canada because then you could have some fun. And she says, no, she's not going to go back to Canada. She wants to stay in Kuwait. But the reason why a lot of people are suggesting for her to go back to Canada is because she was much more relaxed in Canada and she was having a lot more fun versus Kuwait. So it's not Kuwait. It is not the fault of Kuwait that she's not fun anymore. It's just, She's not interested in fun, entertaining content for her subs. She's just like, I'm going to do what I want to do. I don't care if it's fun for any of you. I'm just going to get on camera and eat and make my coin and then I'm out. Yeah, me neither, Rebecca. I had no idea that that was, you know what I mean? Are your teeth fake? No. <laughs> Ignore the hate. The story has been around for years, but you misdirect your anger at it because you never deal with your, what are you talking about Half-Life? Again, that's not exact. that's nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. FFG makes fun of my appearance, my, my religion, everything for how, you know? So I called her a goblin because goblins, if you look it up, terrorize people and they're monstrous, all right? That's all that it was. It's not deeper than that. So you can take your little snowflake butt and get out of here. Thank you. Hi, Fernanda. Yeah, exactly. People who claim to be neutral, there's no such thing. You're right, Talia. You're right about that, actually. Very wise. Really, Gizmo? What do you mean, favorite Muslim things? What? <laughs> it's hard to speak on this channel. You'll get blocked even though you aren't being hateful. No, but if you're supporting... Was that... Hold on a second. She might be a couple of minutes behind... Or I'm not seeing in the chat yet, so let's just keep going. Somebody who's like literally been an insane stalker and bully for years. Yeah, I don't want you in my chat. If you side with that or you think I'm anti-Semitic, I don't, I don't want you in my chat. I would rather have zero, like five people in my chat. And That's what she tries to tell everybody. I don't care if I have five people in my chat. She does care. She doesn't have another job. She couldn't get another job off of YouTube. YouTube is it for her. 
So if she had no people on her channel or five people, that certainly would not be enough to live on. So I guess today is opposite day. She's going to say the opposite of what she really means. Today's opposite day. You're going to put out the appearance that you don't care about your subs, even though you just bought 800. You don't care if you make money on YouTube when very much you do. It's opposite day. And give them attention. You know, for me, again, it's quality over quantity. I don't want, Heart, you know. Wait, wait, no. wait. Stop, stop. What do you mean quality over quantity? When have you ever cared about quality? How can you sit there and say you care about quality when your content is trash? When you do gaming streams and they are not quality, you do cooking videos, those are not quality. Couple vlogs, those are not quality. There's not a single thing on your channel that you could say it was about the quality and it was the best it could be. Had the best audio, video, camera angles, editing. No such thing as quality here. You know, your content is basically fast food content. You know, you make it fast, you put it out fast, you make some fast coin, and then you shut your camera off. You don't take your time with your content and really make it good. I don't know, Pam. I don't care, Half Light. I don't care. It's not a rage. It's addressing allegations that are not true. Sati, speaking out about genocide in Palestine doesn't make you anti-Semitic. People of the Middle East are considered Semites, so that includes Palestinians. Yeah, exactly, Sati. Exactly. Thank you so much for that. Yep. Yep, it's true. Yeah, I'm not anti-Semitic. I don't. I, I'm anti-Zionism. No, you're right, cookies and cream. I need to stop giving reaction, and I will. Trust me, after this, that's sure. it. Sure. Like, I'm not, I don't care what you say about me anymore. If you think I'm anti-Semitic, whatever. But it's just, I'm explaining where that came from for me. And um, I would rather die than apologize to that ugly mythical creature. All right? So, yeah. And she'll keep using Islamophobic slurs and no one will say anything. You know, like, whatever. I know, Blue Pot. Vanessa! Stop being a bully at 16? Yeah, I'll shame you for that every day. Every day. I know, Jackie Howard. Hello. Ignore all the haters. I like the scarf. It's a kafia. Palestinian scarf. Well, not just Palestine, but yeah, mostly worn in Palestine as a sign of resistance. I like it, yeah. Thank you. I feel bad for you and Amber sending prayers and hugs. Thank you, Ruth. Hi, Fernanda. Why do people want me to come back to Canada? No. Why? People are not remembering how miserable I was there. That's the problem. You made your you made yourself miserable. But if you had your head screwed on straight, you could still go home to Canada and make a whole new life. Your life is what you make it no matter where you are. Just as you're in Kuwait, you could have made a happy life there and you're still miserable in Kuwait because you're doing the same things in Kuwait that you did in Canada. So what does it matter if you're in Kuwait or Canada if you're doing the same things in the same environment, wouldn't it just make sense to go home? And that way, if something medically happened to you, you would at least have your family there with you. Whereas you don't have them in Kuwait, they're not going to come over to you. Like, I just, I just don't get it. You fly to another country to do the exact same things that you did in your home country. I'm gonna wear it a different way so it's not as hot around my neck. <laughs> Lena, I don't know.
Where's the evidence that Palestinians have killed LGBT people? Oh, be quiet. What does that have to do with the genocide? Yeah, where's your evidence exactly? <laughs> Blue Pot, you probably didn't even know that it was an anti-Semitic term before. Didn't you say you were, you were, um, Are bullies but it doesn't affect my life you know like once i turn this off that's it i live my life i don't care it's annoying that they're so stupid yeah and they say things that are not true like that i put my sister in a dryer and people just believe that oh really well she's a horrible person oh okay she's horrible then she put her sister in a dryer that explains it she deserves to be molested by a 40 year old man what they're so they're so so ridiculous I'm sorry. I mean, I float around the different reaction channels. I don't know who she's referring to, but I have never, ever heard a reactor say because she put her sister in a dryer that she deserved to have a man do that to her. I've never heard a reactor say that. She's making up stuff. <laughs> Cynthia, yes, I'm ready for Ramadan. Thanks, Susie. I'm here because I genuinely care about Chantal. That means a lot. Why is the chat so toxic today? Because they're just wait, they wait in the woodwork, Silvayel, for any drama, and then they come out. Well, Chantal, you have prior knowledge that you were going to do this live and you were not going to be happy and you were going to be raging. You could have set this to VIB chat only. You put it as open chat, knowing the trolls were going to come in and they were going to make inflammatory comments to you and you welcomed it. You could have stopped it before it even started by making it VIB only, but maybe you were afraid to do it VIB only because you wouldn't have so many people. You're so greedy for the views and the money right now that you're going to let anybody talk to you. Anybody. You don't have to explain yourself. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. Bye, Joseph. Ignore them. But I heard you've been new. Yeah, you're allowed to have pierced ears, I think. Yeah. And nose, too. But I got rid of my nose piercing because it's annoying. It's one. And I've been sleep having broken sleep, right? Because, oh, pain is tiring, you know? Ma'am, you started out this stream. You got up from your chair in a hurry with no problem. You plop back down in your chair. And now you're trying to say, oh, I'm in so much pain. No, just no. So I just like try to rest. I find after I sleep and wake up, the pain is gone for a little while. Let me tell you something. If you could get out of your chair that fast and then plop back down, you are not in that much pain. You could certainly change the litter box, fill up the cat bowls, do the housework. You're not in pain. You're just a big old faker. Like right now, it just flares up sometimes, especially if I do too much, like too much bending and stuff like that um so i'm really i'm not gonna like i can't bend anymore to pick up things i have to like i need a grabber people read too much into others lives why make a living off someone based on falsehoods and drama i know okay bye kanita the met look at hamadon the mentality the um maturity level of people from their audience are just ridiculous and a lot of the old beezers have that mentality too and i don't want these people in my chat if i have to start from scratch and rebuild i don't care so she's okay for those who are new to chantal verse because i realized that different people come into the foodie verse at different times i was there during that whole time period right before Natter, and then I was there during the Natter era, she had a lot of diehard loyal Beezers 
they were so loyal to Chantal that they would make a point to go to the reaction channel chats, just being complete jerks, especially Sofa King, Plain Cheeseburger, and Ashley Lamborghini. They were like the hyena pack going around just being jerks wherever they could. And they were never welcomed into the chats. They got blocked on my channel because they would come in and just make stupid comments. But she had a lot of loyal Beezers. And they did what they could to hang in there. But the lies and manipulation and her rages and going on blocking sprees and the out of control behavior just turned a lot of people off. And I look at her chat. I've got her chat up right now. I don't see anybody from that time in her chat. It's all new Beezers that have no idea about the Chantal lore, about her history. They're just going with what they know. And they don't want to do any homework or research on their queen and find out how awful she is because they want to be able to come into her chat and have a good time and talk to other people in chat. They don't know how awful she is, but she's lost so many people off her channel. If she had not gone on her blocking sprees, if she had not raged at so many people and abused so many people in her chat, she would have been at hundred K by now. In fact, she would have been over hundred K, but, she'll be nice to people now and then she'll get mad and then be nice to people again she's not naturally nice she's nice because the money is low the views are low and she knows that if she pushes people too far the people that are left will go and she can't afford that Thank you, Nuto Squishy. Yeah, there are. Yeah, there's a lot of leeches and parasites. Yep. No, I'm not, Diana. I'm not. She's an idiot. That's her, like, whole content. Like, imagine, like, sitting there and complaining about someone eating and then knowing that you have to watch that with your hateful piece of crap audience. All three, 4,000 of them, hateful pieces of crap to make any money. So you can buy a house. <laughs> yeah. Why are you why are you bagging on somebody buying a house with their money? Why is that a bad thing? <laughs> I mean, why is she making it seem like a bad thing to be someone and you say to yourself, you know, I'm making money, a lot of money doing something. I want to save that money and buy a house. I want to invest in a house. What's wrong with that? You know, that's a dream of a lot of people that you want to buy a house and houses are expensive. Like a normal home is what, 400, 500 K, maybe more. And if you're making good money at that moment, you don't know how long that's going to last. Why wouldn't you decide to be smart and put the money into something uh, that makes sense? So I guess FFG can't win with this one. If she were blowing her money on unnecessary things, Chantal would have something to say about that. Because FFG is smart and saying, I'm putting this money away, I'm getting a house. That's a bad thing. You know what I think, Chantal? I think you are just jealous. You're jealous you're not making that big money anymore. You're jealous of the fact that other people, when they get money in hand, they do smarter things with it. They invest the money somewhere where it makes sense. You've been on YouTube for what, eight years? All the money that you have made, do you have anything to show for it? Girl, the money that you've made on YouTube, if you had screwed your head on tight ages ago, you wouldn't have any debt, first of all. You wouldn't have those bankruptcies on your record. You would have a nice car a nice home, maybe have some money put away in savings or invested in a business, you'd be sitting pretty right now. You'd be able to say, I'm feeling a sense of personal burnout. So I'm just going to take some time away from myself, do some self-reflection, get myself together, 
get myself healthy and have the money to do it. But it makes no sense to bag on somebody for being smart with their money. Like we all want to own our own cars and own our own homes because those are major expenses. And you're going to get mad at somebody for being smarter than you with their money. Yeah, sure. Do you have a tan line from the undercap? No. <laughs> they have a nice shape. What does? Yeah, Alexis. They're not supposed to pluck their eyebrows. <laughs> Don't throw it in one. Thank you, Diana. I had the last thing I ate was the subway. So I am kind of hungry. Foodie Beauty is back. Where? Hey, Toby. You know, I saw a video from a reactor where they were kind of showing that she did two videos in one day. She said she had a backup sandwich. Y'all remember that sushi video? She ate three trays of sushi. And during that mukbang, she said, this isn't really filled me up. Although those sushi rolls were twice the size of normal. They were enormous. Just one of those trays would have filled me up and she ate three. But she said, this doesn't really feel feeling. And she said she had a backup sandwich. So it kind of looks like right behind that, she ate the Subway sandwich. Like I and a lot of other people are under the feeling that every time she sits down to do a meal, she form, she films it. She's got a backlog of mukbangs she can just throw up online every day. Like every meal she's going to film, no matter how mundane it is, she's going to film it. So if she eats three or four times a day, she's going to make three or four videos out of it. I seem so much happier in Kuwait. Yeah, I am. I am. For sure. If you were really happy, why are you so angry at midnight? Does that even make sense? A happy, peaceful person at midnight would be sleeping or relaxing, watching TV, something. Peaceful, happy people do not rage late at night. I'm not like running around, dancing around and everything. I'm more like modest in that regard, but doesn't mean my happiness level is, you know, I have a lot of health issues that may probably prevent me like more health issues than before. Yeah. Whose fault is that? You caused that to happen. You cause those health issues and you're not treating them. So you made that happen. Your life is being affected, but you're doing nothing about it. I'm getting older. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you do that. Nope, 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 nope. You cannot blame your lack of mobility and breathing and all of that on getting older. Because there are lots of people who are much older than you. They are healthier than you. They are more active than you. They are more mobile than you. It has nothing to do with age. Has everything to do with the state of your health and how you handle it. Chantal, I'm 53. Okay. I have got 12 or 13 years on you. You're much younger than me. I got no problem with my mobility. I have no problems with my breathing. I can walk just fine. I can walk across the room without breathing heavy. So you can't blame it on age, ma'am. That prevent me from like being super enthusiastic, but and I'm like in pain and tired. Hello, Wrestling World Podcast. Husband is good, Mary. Thank you for asking. Daily music lists. Don't waste a brain cell on that. Sh <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they don't waste any brain cells. They don't have any. So why should I? 99K? What? No, I had. And she's trying to act like 99K? I didn't know it was 99K. Okay, Chantal. You bought them subs. You know you did. It's like 91, 98, 150 last time I looked. Sure. That's weird. Maybe somebody bots or something, some troll bot bots. Sure. 
like somebody just went out and bought 800 subs for Chantal and gifted them to her as if they have access to her YouTube studio and her account and they can just do that for Chantal. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you serious? Like some random stranger is just going to go on a site and buy subs for Chantal and then just covertly give them to her? Nah. -uh. No, you got to go to a site like that. And I don't recommend anybody doing that. That's a big no-no. Absolute big no-no for YouTube. Don't do it. Don't do it. But how can anybody gift her that many subs? It's not possible. You have to do it yourself in order for it to affect your channel. Bots or something. If I, if I really have that many, there's got to be bots. And if you have bots like from trolls, they'll get rid of them eventually. But if they're legit. You know, she does have trolls, but no troll is going to spend that much money to bag that many subs for Chantal. Cool. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa. It is 1.13. Did you go to the beach? No. A lot of comments being deleted. Yeah, from like, I guess, well, there's moderators in here, Nito. Was Soska. LGBT Palestinians exist. It's still free Palestine. Yes. You're doing well, and that's why they're attacking you with lies. Let them destroy themselves with hate. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And they don't. Hold on a minute. I need to do something. I don't care, Volpe, about any friggin' documentaries made about me. I think I made that clear. She she doesn't care right now, but wait till the documentary is released. She'll have a whole different point of view. Yes, there are other documentaries that have been made about Chantal over the years, and every single one of them bothers her. Just as the archive channels, clip channels, reaction channels, people on Twitter showing some of her older content bothers her. That's why she's raging tonight. Paying attention to all the platforms. Who cares? <laughs> Are you going to actually think I'm worried about some more BS criticism about me? Like another documentary? Do you know how many are already made about me? There was one made about me five years ago. That's three hours. She's worried. Because as I said, I'm looking at her chat. I don't see any of her old school beezers in the chat. It's all new people. Every time a video comes out, every time a documentary comes out, it's a chance for the Beezers to see stuff from her past that she has deleted off her channel. To give them a glimpse on who Chantal was and still is to this day. She tries to hide her past, but sometimes the past comes back to haunt her. And every time that happens, Something might happen to her channel. Where's long? Do you think I really honestly care? Like, you the do. only thing reason I brought it up is to address that it's what it's going to be like. I already yeah, but you don't know. You don't know what's going to be in the documentary. You don't know what's going to be said or how it's going to be said. You try to get ahead of it by throwing accusations at Mr. Snowflake. And in the process, Mr. Snowflake said, well, this just changes everything. I might just change the whole documentary around. And that really got you worried. And then you apologized. And then you took the apology down from your community post, which means you weren't really sorry. Or you would have left it up. Pretty no. I don't have to watch it. Their source, just trust me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. Say screw haters and continue making a couple of vlogs. Yeah, it's not about the haters. It's just he's busy with other things. I know my makeup is everywhere. It seems like he's always busy with other things. That's the theme anymore. When somebody asks, where's Salah? How's Salah doing? There's always an excuse. Oh, he's out right now. He's working. He's with his friends. 12 o'clock, midnight, 2 o'clock in the morning. He's not there. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's always out. Now, I can see being a husband and you're away from your wife every once in a while that late at night but all the time yeah that i'm sorry the volume was up way too high i'm turning it down sorry about that if i got loud y'all i'm just now noticing it but 
him being on, gone all the time. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> it wasn't the dryer. It was the oven. Oh yeah. Yeah. All siblings do horrible. I never did anything horrible to my sister. Nothing. Nothing. You bullied your sister. You bullied her because before your little sister was born, you were the baby of the family. You got all the attention. And then little sis came along and you felt a certain kind of way about it. You bullied your little sister so badly, they sent your butt to a group home because they didn't know what to do with you. So you bullied her. You're a big old bully. And she can even tell you that, but don't, she's not going to talk to you. People like insane people message my family members, you know, like whose family members have I contacted by the way? Who? Hi, Camilla. Love the impression. <laughs> Nedraj Dylan. Yes. Oh, my way behind. I feel happy. Yeah. 50 shades of beige. I do. Like, I'm not allowed to address things like that are stupid like this or what? Means I'm not. Y'all hear that? There's the peepers. <laughs> There's my peepers. They're singing. The green frogs are singing. They're singing out there nice and loud. I'm happy because of other things that other people are making up and saying. Thoughts on King Cobra? I don't care. Oh, Kate Winslet. I think I saw a little bit of it and I was like disgusted and I turned it off. I was like, ew. They were acting like how like I would act in my worst days. Do you know what I mean, Kate? I wonder why people get angry when you defend yourself. They make fake claims and lies. If you say the truth, it's not accepted. Baloney, exactly. She never Hug Julia. Thanks, Bug. Future Miss Becky Williams, the new Chantel is so different from the old Chantel. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Fizzgig. Thank you, Diana. James. I wonder if there's a high around the Middle East war. Yeah. Talia. I try. I don't pray with makeup. I usually, uh, yeah, I don't pray with makeup, but I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to, at least not with nail polish. I don't know. <laughs> Speak no evil. No, I haven't seen it. We're going to skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> that right there. She's sitting there waving her arms around. But she's supposed to be in pain. Keep telling on yourself, Chantal. Well, I call out her lies all the time. All the time. Lumberjack being one. Not having BBJ two. Do you want me to go on? I can make a lot. Anyone else? Jenna, thanks for the hot dog. <laughs> oh, sh FFG has said she doesn't have BBJ. I believe it's her sister-in-law that has BBJ and taking care of BBJ and FFG is just uh, in, you know, pays for the medical bills and all that. Honestly, at this point, does it matter where BBJ is as long as she's being well cared for and well loved? Why is this even a talking point? Why is she still going on about FFG doesn't have BBJ? Frenchie's family has BBJ and she's well loved well looked after as she should because she's been through a lot doesn't matter if she's with frenchie or not she's she's where she needs to be volpe it's no one's business what we're doing for valentine's day if we celebrate or not I'm not <laughs> it it doesn't matter what we're doing for valentine's day there we go there it is telling on herself it doesn't matter what we're doing translation we're not doing anything I told you she's mad she's mad because maybe she wanted to get online tomorrow 
and showcase her husband and set up this fake phony date where she pays for the flowers and gifts and he just shows up and acts like the loving husband and it's not going to happen this year she's salty about that but she can't throw her fake phony husband in our faces maybe that's the reason for this entire rage because it's midnight valentine's day is tomorrow and he's not going to be around she's going to be spending v day by herself i'm not telling anybody anything about that anymore nope look what happened on her and there's nothing wrong with spending valentine's day by yourself I'm a single woman. I'm not going to be with anybody, but I'm not raging about it. I'm cool with it. I like my own company. I can keep myself busy with work, but all of her identity is locked up in food and drama and public image and selling us this fake phony fairy tale. And I've got a husband and you don't. So she's mad that she can't sell part of that to us tomorrow. That's what it is. Our anniversary, people like paused on the bouquet of flowers and counted how many roses there were. You mean the roses that you bought? Because he didn't buy them. He don't work. As if this person wasn't, you're not even getting one rose from your fake boyfriend lumberjack. So what are you even criticizing my bouquet of 12 roses for? You know what I mean? Or like people made like 500 videos about it, about the cake, about... So no, if we- And she's telling on herself, she's self-confessing right here. Like everybody made all these videos and talking about the flowers that again, more proof that she watches everybody. Cause how would she know that if she weren't paying attention? Celebrate anything together. We do anything together. It's, it's so nice. Not, not having anyone see it. Hi, Husky Fitz. Yeah, exactly. Tell you. She has no life. Just me. Yep. You know your heart. Thanks, Rebe. They're all a bunch of hypocrites. It's funny they have to go up Miriam for things they do much worse. Exactly. Yeah. Tepid water for tepid people. Watch it. Rips lower arms. Yeah, right. Like Chantal just goes on and on about silly, stupid things in this live talking about the size of ffg's arms and the whole thing with the pineapple it's just ridiculous <laughs> you know she's she's doing the the pearl necklace thing where you take one pearl and put it next to another pearl and another one and another one and another one you just string everything together even if it doesn't make sense just trying to make some sort of long argument to make an entire live like I said last time, if they put this much attention and work into a master's PhD, they'll get somewhere in life, right? How come it's doing that focusing thing? It's annoying me. Gray style. I don't do things that are like uh, against other people. So who cares? So I don't. I don't put my energy into that. Yes, you do. I don't want a PhD. I've been to university. I dropped out. Do they celebrate Valentine's Day there? Some people, yeah. Yeah, they do, actually, because I saw a lot of adverts for it. Yep. Yeah, speaking about that, so she keeps trying to push her stupid scamios, and she's advertising scamios for Valentine's Day, which is weird because she's supposed to be a reverted Muslim woman, and Valentine's Day for Muslims are its haram. So why are you trying to get people to do Valentine's Day scamios when that's considered haram? Hi, Seth. Green grapes. Oh, I'm apparently Islamophobic for using a term that predates uh, any anti, uh, no, terrorize households and like for, like if you look at the myth of it like i think i used to read like she's making the same points over and over and over again <sighs> chantal if you got something to talk about get your points together make your argument get off the soapbox 
move on to something else. Stop recycling back around to the same stuff. It's repetitive. Like fairy tales like that as a kid. And next. Was Goblins are in children's books from the old days. Yeah. People will have an opinion about it. Yeah. Anyway, I I won't be using it ever again because I won't ever be, well, I mean, unless, I don't know, there's a story or something about it, but um, addressing that idiot ever again. Never. Nope. So... It was people who want drama you want drama that's how you get views i know nikki whatever i never heard of this goblin thing this is nuts you don't bring up anything jewish so it makes no sense exactly so that's it You know, in the past, reacting to Chantal, even when she was really, really angry, I noticed a pattern with her. That she would start off the rage full of steam, and about an hour later, she's run out of steam and she'd start to calm down. And that happened again here. So we're almost at the hour mark, and she's running out of steam. You guys can tell. She's not so fired up. She's just keeping the chat going to make the stream longer. Mm, yeah, I saw the JK rolling thing with, it's 1.5 liters, that's why. Next. But nobody, no, they the same stupid audience with no brains that call me out for that one term or whatever, say nothing and partake in the Islamophobia. We're still going on about this. It's like, God, shut up. They love her big dumps she takes on them every day full of crap because you know what? You don't need a new laptop for a camera. Get a life. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. You're over there with your almost 100K channel. And although you have an almost 100K channel and you, clearly you've got plenty of money to buy takeout two, three, four times a day. Where's your laptop? Shouldn't you be buying your own laptop with your own camera instead of using Salah's? Why are you using his stuff when you can afford your stuff? So before you talk about other people's stuff, you're over there big balling, buy your own stuff. Yeah, I know. I'm classic yeah i'm i'm so bad i'm so disgusting you are but they all hide behind the camera because of how disgusting they are hi who's hiding i'm not hiding and the people that use avatars and stuff when they do their lives it's just because that's how they feel comfortable so they can focus on the chat they're not focused on what's going on in front of the camera it's not about hiding yourself it's about just doing a live chat and if you got a lot of people in your chat, you want to focus on what people are saying and and pulling up tabs and and showing them off to people. You've got you're multitasking. So who's hiding? Nobody's hiding but you, Chantal. Even right now, you're hiding. You've got filters running. You've got your contour filter on your face. You've got the skin smoothing filter. You've got all kinds of filters. So you're not even coming on camera as your real self. So you're no one to talk about what other people look like. And they still watch every little thing I do. Every move you make, I'll be watching you because I have no life and I can't make money otherwise. Imagine, imagine. That's, go ahead and keep thinking that. But that is so you. What you described is so you. Imagine like you can't buy yourself a house with any other way than making up lies and spewing hate every day. Like, okay. Yeah, teardrop and having to steal a cat. Exactly. 
Yeah, it was never stolen. It was given up. Yep. Uh, have you been to the soup? Yes, before I have. I'm just over watch. I'm not watching him anymore, White Noise. I'm not watching any of the people. Anything to do with Ghoul World is beyond I'm done with paying attention to any of that crap. So I don't care what people say, what people think. If they want to cancel me, unsubscribe. Yada, yada, yada. I don't care. On Valentine's Day, Rebbe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then she lied to her audience and said, well, I'm going to see my man after. You have no man. You have no man. Keep thinking that. How do you know, though? You're not in her life. And she's not like you. She's not going to just overshare online the way you do. That's a lie. People ask me to point out a lie. They don't care. You know what, Chantal? If you're claiming something is a lie, then the burden of proof is on you. If you're looking at a person and pointing your finger and saying, this is a lie, then you got to come forward with receipts to prove it's a lie. And you can't do that because all you've got is hearsay and speculation. Therefore, you're not succeeding. Live in peace, yeah. You're strong to deal with these weirdos. I find it so weird she went to your fashion show, like you went and did something for yourself and she comes to cause a scene and laugh at you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And she thinks that's a one up. That's what I'm saying. Like, she thinks none of this is like, this is all shit that's going to bite her back in the ass someday. Like, <clears throat> it's just like, I just shake my head. Like, what? You think that's a one up that you came and ruined it? Like, no, it just reflects on you as a person. You're a shitty human being. You're a monstrous creature. That's exactly why I called her a goblin. That nothing more, nothing less. It's funny how she talks about monsters. When you think about all the things she's done on YouTube, all the things she's talked about, all the offensive things she's done, the way she's literally gone out of her way to offend people, to trigger people, talking about SA and DV and I've been through this trauma and doing a Nazi salute, mistreating her cats neglecting her cats, driving high, being high on camera, all kinds of things. Too many to name here at this time. She's the monster. She's a monster of her own making. I wanna go to the soup, <laughs> yeah. So it's funny because they're all big girls too and then body shame you. Yeah, and they don't even show themselves. Imagine making. <laughs> okay, we're all big girls. Look, and there's nothing wrong with being a big girl or a big man. Beauty and wonderfulness comes in all shapes and sizes. You don't have to be a size two to be pretty. You can be a size 20 and be a queen. Same thing with a guy. You could be a big guy and be awesome. But imagine her trying to body shame people with her being 500 plus pounds. Her yelling and screaming, fat phobia, fat shaming. At the same time, she wants to point a finger and say, look at the size of their body. Although I have seen many of the reactors in this community and nobody is at the size or health of Chantal. No one, nobody. But isn't it crazy? Someone Chantal size trying to body shame somebody and say, oh, you're big too. <laughs> so fat shaming is wrong, fat shaming is bad when somebody remarks on your size, but you can remark on somebody else's size. When we as reactors look at you and we remark on your size, Chantal, it's not to shame you. 
it's because it's shocking how much weight you're putting on so rapidly. When all of us that have been around for a while, we remember what you looked like just a few years ago compared to how you look now. It's, it's astounding. It's quite scary to see how physically you've grown in size. It's, it's concerning. It's very concerning. You don't seem to be concerned though, but it's, it's just a shocking thing to see. In front of somebody, um, you know, and you want actual blatant racism. Shannon liked a comment that was racist. You're going to tell me that I have to, you know, like, I don't know. And all these reactors have cash apps and they ask for money all the time. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah. Ma'am, and you're over there pushing your scamios. Every chance you get, you're pushing your scamio. And you're constantly asking people to message you on Instagram. And madam, don't think I don't freaking know what that's about. Don't think I don't know. That is you probably getting in contact with some of those feedies. So that maybe you get paid for some custom content. You might also be using your scamio for the same reason, you know, contacting the feedies on a site that's not labeled for feedies, just doing it covertly. Maybe that's the reason why you don't care about YouTube and the money you make on YouTube because you've got that little side hustle with the feedies. You've got some feedies in your back pocket since it seems like you have really umped up your game with doing the feedie content knowing that makes them happy and fetish people do pay well, but you're always giving out your Instagram so you can talk to people privately and maybe passing out your PayPal and whatnot there. Yeah. You know, you're going around the block to do your business, but what do you care if reactors and live chats give out their PayPal or cash app or something? So people that want to send money to them can send it to them directly and they get 100% of it versus 70% courtesy of YouTube taking 30. What do you care? Not your live chat, not your business. Stay out. People comment, you have to pay for your husband. With what money? I thought I'm broke. They're stupid. Nobody even notices how dumb they are. They contradict themselves every day. When does she have time for her man? She works full time and then logs on to YouTube to fantasize about you. Yeah, she works full time, my ass. Every time I go live and talk about her, she's like, she must be always listening. Ah, what's that? Potential content. Let me go on and rage. Exactly. You don't have a life. You don't have a job. You're full of shit. You don't have a man. You have nothing. But ma'am, you have no life. You have no real husband. YouTube is the only income you've got. I, you got nothing to say nothing to say okay nothing to say obsessing over me shannon too she did that on valentine's day for six or no on her anniversary six hours. again what do you care what people do on valentine's day how they spend their time if you've got two friends who want to hang out on valentine's day what is it your business if a person wants to spend time with their significant other or alone, what do you care? Why are you making that an issue? Why are you trying to tell people what they can do and when they can do it? Control freak. How are live stream talking about me? What about spending time with your man? And they have a lot to say about my relationship. Please, uh, please. You chose to take your relationship and put it online. You did. So you put the topic on the table, people are going to discuss it. You want to reveal everything. You want to overshare everything. Everything you overshare becomes a topic of discussion now and ever because you pick things to be that way. Can't complain about that. And I know she had nothing to say about what happened with Salah because she cheated on her man many times. So give me a break. Julia should hug it out. I it's out zombies, crap eaters. You love it.
Julia looks adorable. Thank you. Why are you ranting at her? She's a dog. Kelba. You're not broke. You just got a hot dog sticker, sillies. Yeah, <laughs> you're right, Jenna. <laughs> yes, I'm rich. I'm retiring, guys. I got to go. <laughs> no, but seriously, I, she has to buy a man, thousands of dollars for a man. I'm broke, right? You're practically broke. Paying for that apartment, maybe his apartment, the car. Because he, he's not paying for the car. And your food, girl. Like, you're living paycheck to paycheck. I'm here, but I don't get involved in politics. Fair enough, Tracy. Um, yeah, she is miserable. Wouldn't you be? Julia needs her own IG page like yesterday. Kim Richards, ignore those bitter biddies. They are nothing. Thank you. Don't worry. YouTube is cracking down on people reusing others' content. Their time will come. They should um, crack down on the Islamophobia. Oh, please. Everything we get in life is already written for us because before we are even born, your faith is your power and security. You know, she's, she's over here trying to tell YouTube what to do, saying, YouTube, you should do your job. At the same time, she's lucky that YouTube isn't doing their job. Because if YouTube were doing their job, she wouldn't be able to do mukbang videos. And her channel would have been yeeted ages ago because she's broken every single terms of service there is. And she continues to do it via her mukbangs. So she's lucky they're not doing their job. She's lucky. That's why they don't get their greedy assholes. Exactly, Rebecca. Liz, I'm, I'm, yeah, we're not, we, I don't talk about like what I do anymore with my husband. Because there's nothing to talk about. He's not there. But um, thank you. No job, no man, no cam. She's lying for sure. Yep. She's a stalker. She stole your cat, goes to your hometown, becomes friends with your ex-friends, and talks about you all day, every day. Yep. Yeah. Hope you had a good Valentine's. Do something romantic. Like, like think about it this way. Miss Hussey won a case against DC. I don't I don't have an opinion on that, but uh won a case against because I like I like listening to DC's streams. But um and she's Jewish, by the way. I know people were like, she's gonna say that. I, I, I really don't know where this like I don't like Jewish people comes from. It's a hundred percent not true. Anyway, if she won, if he won the case, or she, Miss Hussey, sorry, she won the case against DC for a lot less. Think of if I actually did something about FFG, please. <laughs> like, please. The irony of her talking about DC and Miss Hussey. She had a lot of awful things to say about DC. And she was she's the reason why Miss Hussey lost his channel on the first go round. <laughs> and it's funny just bringing those two names up. Like she's done so much worse for years. A judge would look at her channel and listen to the timestamps in her streams, see what she's done, and be like, this woman is insane. Like, there's no way. Um, she streams on Rumble. Creepy. Maybe you can <laughs> give me some resources. I asked um, a law firm, like, for a civil case, and, like, I'm like, do I have to? They're like, we can draft up like a demand letter and, and, you know, serve them over email. They don't have to have the address anymore either. And, uh, but you would have for court dates, you would have to go to Canada, but maybe they're wrong. You're right. Maybe they changed it. Hi, Lois. Since the last time I asked, why can't you go to Canada just to take her to court? If it would be right up Chantal's wheelhouse, right up her alley to try to find a way to sue FFG, trying to get some of that money from FFG. <laughs> Although it will probably turn right around on her. 
But again, she's going to do a lot of steps to even get started with that. And she's not about work or effort. So I'm not worth it. It kind of would be a uh, Canada litigation bees. Zoom. That would be awesome. Can we all watch the court session on stream? Judge Judy. I would love to see Judge Judy ream her a new one. Imagine. <laughs> anyway. There's Zoom court now. She's winding down. What is it with the potato face? That that's the that's the infamous potato face. She's done it several times in this stream. What is it with her making the potato face? Zoom court and she still won't cam up. Yeah, I hope they make. I hope they would make us. The fact she turned up to the fashion show is actual physical harassment stalking. She'll say it's a public event, but still, it doesn't. Chantal, listen. You keep talking about you're going to sue FFG. Didn't you also make the same claim about Natter? Didn't you also say that you were going to sue Natter and Didi? That never happened. And I would think as someone that you're claiming to be a victim of SA and DV, if you were going to go after anybody with a vengeance, it would be him, not her. Because according to you, Natter did more physical harm to you than FFG. You got more of a personal vengeance for Natter than FFG, and yet you're focused on her. But you said you were going to sue Natter. That never happened. And although you could have shut down Natter's channel, you never did that. Likewise, he could have come after you. He never did that. That's why I still think the two of you are talking. Because you guys never cross that red line with each other. You never burn the bridge. I feel there's still some communication going on that you guys never stop talking. You just kind of like put it on the down low. But you talk all the time about suing people, going after people, winning in court. But you never follow through. It's just it's all talk doesn't matter like what she did with this with the event made the fatty fashion show i can show the negative impact it had on him the you know what if there was a negative impact on the designer then it would be up to the designer to take ffg to court because it's that person's business it has nothing to do with you you're not you have no part in the business you can't just take someone to court on somebody else's behalf unless you're representing them. So again, you got nothing to say. Designer with all of the hate they were getting. Um, yeah, I, I'm not stupid. I you are. definitely, definitely. I, I know for sure. We have a strong case. Yeah, for sure. Chantal would never go to court for anything. Not if she could help it because she's such a bad liar. That any lawyer, any attorney would cut her up like steak meat. They put her on a stand and they'd start questioning her and catching her in all her lies. And then she would just be sitting up there with the darting eyes and, and not knowing what to say because she doesn't know how to tell the truth. She would be a, guilty of perjury within seconds. You're just supposed to go up there and tell the truth and she doesn't know how. But that would be a personal nightmare for her to be in a courtroom with people looking directly at her, watching her, listening to her, no filters in sight, staying in front of people that are highly educated, know all about the law, know how to ask the hard questions and put the pressure on and she would fold. She wouldn't know how to act. Yep. It's likely a gin. Yeah, I'm gonna be starting to play the Quran exactly. Play a send a cease and desist every time she goes live and keep record of how many times she streams about you. Yeah. Well, you, you have to start with like a demand letter, like what you're demanding. Um so yeah. And it's it would be a civil case at best, not a criminal case. It's a civil case. You're right, Ryan. 
Anyway, a lot to think about, not something I want to think about and have to deal with, but I don't know, cut the head off the freaking snake. She even hiss, hisses when she talks. She's just you know, somebody put out a video where Chantal keeps going on and on about FFG doing like the hiss thing. But yeah, that was something that she was doing years ago. Somebody put out a video showcasing that. Disgusting. I'm coming for you, B. She have a case. She followed you to dispo. Like how creepy. Yep. And she did it to try to. Uh, my videos were always a response to something she did. Exactly. They're all hateful pieces of crap. Teardrop. No, he's not sleeping. Blue Pog is here. Yeah. Okay. This he's there. It's midnight. She's not being quiet. She's in the living room. It's a small apartment. He's supposed to be in the next room, what, sleeping? She's not being quiet. She's raging. Yeah, okay, he's there. This Dispo is dispensary. Oh, sorry, Chris. What did you say? I didn't see it. The gin from Phasmophobia is here. Seriously. I really peeved them off. She hides in the shadows too, like a stalker. She won't show herself. Yep. I forgot to put the dispo. Trying to hurt your job. That's malicious intent. You did nothing wrong. Yep. She tried to slander Salah's business by going to people and like trying to get them to say it smells gross. Like No, she just went to people and said, what do you think about this? And they gave their honest opinion. You know, saying it's curtain spray and all this stuff. Well, that's basically what it was. It wasn't even body mist. It was fabric spray. Basically, it was a discounted Febreze. And there was no ingredient list to show what was in it and how much. Hopefully, Ryan. How would she feel if she was being followed? Oh, yeah. She would go live and be like, I'm such a stalker. I'm being stalked. Send me money. Yeah, Miss Goody. That's why she hides. She's ashamed of how she looks because she makes she lies behind the she says, my 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 laptop doesn't have a, a camera. Buy one. You're rich, right? And in Frenchie's defense. I'd like to say this. First of all, having your camera on, it's a personal choice, whether you want to show yourself or not. Whoever you are making a YouTube channel, you want to do your content in the way you want to do it. Whatever way you're happy with and makes you the most comfortable. Also, since there are so many people in Frenchie's live chat, I mean, literally, like she clocks in about 4,000, 5,000 people in her live chat. That's a lot of people. The chat is just flying by. It's a lot to keep track of. So I per completely understand if she doesn't want to turn on her camera. With that many people in the room being a reactor, being the person giving the color commentary, you're trying to keep track of what people are saying so that sometimes you can highlight some of the comments and and highlight the super chats and super stickers and and give your opinions on things because it's a lot going on there i mean chantal could never i mean she's lucky if she clocks in about 500 people on her chat but 4,000, 5,000, she hasn't seen those numbers in years so when you're a reactor and you're doing it live there's, there's a lot of parts moving, a lot. Like you're multitasking. You've got your tabs up. You, The chat's flying by. You're trying to pay attention to when people send a super chat or a super sticker. You know, you are just trying to keep everybody entertained and let everybody know you're paying attention to things, although sometimes it gets hard. The more people that get in your chat, the harder it is. No, Rebecca, it's, you have to close it. 
So I don't know if I was just losing it and didn't, I don't know. <laughs> Be a ghost hunter. If my husband was with his friends from 11 to 2, I mean, it kind of like, I don't know. It's not like a stiff door. I don't know what it is. We'd have problems. Not as laid back as you would have before that. If your husband was with his friends from 11 to 2, why? And that's different. Like, that's normal here, Blue Pot. Like, apparently you don't know anything about the culture here. This is her. Look at her just talking down to people. Apparently you don't know anything about the culture here. I know more than you. Like, I am the expert. You don't know anything. No, you don't know anything. Culture or not. If you've got a husband that's out all the time from 11 to 2, this is a problem. I'd be saying something. If I were the wife, I'd be saying something like, what's going on with you? Why are you out so much? Shouldn't the husband be home with the wife sometimes? I mean, going out once in a while, that's normal. But all the time? All the time. Really? All the time. Like, are you insinuating, like, like he literally... Like, Again, the accusational tone. Are you insinuating something? Are you insinuating he's cheating on me? You can't cheat on someone that you're not with. If you're not really married, he's just playing a part on YouTube and he's not playing that part anymore. Then he's not cheating, is he? You know, he played his part on stage. The production came to a close. So he's free to do what he wants. He's free to talk to whoever he likes. He was free before, but even more so now. You've got no dominion over his personal life if the agreement was for him to play a part in front of the camera only. But you're still trying to sell this thing to us, Chantal, that no longer has any value. You can stop now. Video chats me while he drives to the desert well, that means nothing. So what he video chatted you? He could have been talking to you about the grocery list. That means nothing. Doesn't mean you guys are in a relationship. Oh, they're setting up the barbecue. I showed you a picture. Ma'am, you showed us a picture that was on your phone. And the food, A, it came from a restaurant. And B, the picture was in your house. Because there was carpet around the table we saw the carpet. The carpet was in your house. That was proven with receipts on Twitter that I showed in my React video. That did not come from a campsite, ma'am. Not at all. And he's only with guys. So why do I... How do you know that? How do you know that? Let's just say he did tell you the truth a little bit. He went out with the guys. How long was he with the guys? He could have just said, I'm going out with the guys, hung out with them for 15 minutes, then run to the red room. How do you know you're not there? He can tell you whatever he wants. I care if he's out with his guy friends till 2 a.m. People hang out very late here. It's a thing. Like there's no, the big fat nothing burger. He's never, he hasn't cheated in real life. No, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing to cheat on if you guys aren't married. Thing. She should step on the scale live little nitty. Yeah. I do report her. I do. You know. So if you're reporting her and if your Beezers are reporting FFG and nothing has happened, that means she's doing nothing wrong. She's doing everything by the book. So I guess you can stop now because nothing has happened. And by the way, Chantal, if you're someone and you're reporting somebody over and over and over and over and over again, after a while, YouTube, they just start ignoring your reports because it starts to look like harassment. They're like, this person doesn't have a valid reason why they're reporting this person. They're just reporting to report. That's why they're like looking at you and going, not today, Satan. Oh, I haven't done it with like timestamps in a long time, but you. <laughs> you big idiot. You big freaking idiot. Everybody knows if you report something on YouTube, look, YouTube is not going to watch a two or three hour live looking for that moment where the offense happened. When you report something, you have to give them timestamps. 
They want to see exactly what happened, exactly when it happened. You got to give them a timestamp. That may, may be a reason why stuff isn't going through. You're lazy. You're saying it happened during this stream and they got things to do. They're not going to sit there and watch the whole thing. YouTube doesn't give a crap. Like well, you know what? If you hate Frenchie just that much, you want something to happen. You would put in the work and the effort to be more effective, wouldn't you? But you're not. You're lazy. Like, at all. I should talk to a lawyer about that, too. Like, YouTube doesn't enforce their terms of service against harassment and bullying. You know? Like, at all. And you know what? I'm sure Frenchie's got plenty of receipts of things that you've said and the things that you've done. So I wouldn't go there if I was you. If my husband was gone from 11 to 2, I would be sleeping diagonally now in the bed peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> you could smell the perfume in the hallway. Really, Talia? We got... I didn't, I don't really follow DC Mina girl, but you said she brought someone else to court. Yeah, there was a case with like her and us. It's fine. Really, Mary? If you make a case, you could help a lot of other YouTubers with the same issues of bullying and hate. You can help a lot of people and make YouTube a safer place. Yeah, it would be. Very so this person, Ryan Reynolds, says, keep working hard to get that silver play button. Then rub it in her face. You are almost there. I got something to say about that. Y'all know that I play World of Warcraft. And when you play a video game, you're a true gamer. You do not look at, with respect, anybody who buys their way into the game. For example... Many years ago when I was playing World of Warcraft and I was part of a guild, there was somebody that came into the guild that he bragged about buying accounts at the, like the highest level tune. And he thought that was a flex. He's like, I've got several level 60 tunes. None of us looked at him with respect. None of us found that to be impressive. Why? Because... A, it's stupid. Why are you going to pay for something that you can just level up for free? Or well, practically for free because you got to pay for the game and then paying for your monthly sub. But why pay a bunch of money for an account for a tune? And especially if you've never played WoW before and you don't know the game mechanics for each specific class. But he tried to flex that. So how does that pertain to Chantal? So she wants a 100K channel, but she's not growing organically. And because she's not growing organically and earning those subs, she's buying away there. She's not going to get res she's not going to get respect for putting in the work, for putting in the hard work to truly, honestly, organically build a 100K channel. She's so desperate for that big number. She's trying to cheat her way there. So it may be something to her, but it's going to be not so impressive for everybody else. Because all of us are going to know she didn't earn those subs. She didn't earn it through hard work or quality content or being entertaining. She did it because she had some money laying around and she found a site where she could buy subs. And so she bought them. And that's something that anybody could do on YouTube. And again, I don't rec recommend doing that because that's a big no-no. But it's just a number. And the number of subs that you have on your page, they don't pertain to the engagement or your views or how happy people are on your channel. With the overall vibe on your channel has nothing to do with any of that. There are much smaller channels that are doing Way better than Chantal. Way better. And I'm going to prove it right now. Y'all want to see? I'll show you. I'll flex a little bit. Hold up. Let me just pull something up real quick. So I'm going to go to Social Blade. Okay? I'm going to pull up two channels. 
I'm going to pull up her channel. And I'm going to pull up my channel. You know, just for comparison. That's what I'm going to do. Excuse me for a moment, please. One moment. All right, let me just get these two pages set up and then we'll do the comparison. Doggone it, I can't type today. Man, my fingers are all over the place. I really need a table. I'm going to get one in a couple of weeks. But I'm just holding the thing on my lap. Doggone it. Sorry for the, the break. All right. We're ready. We are ready. Okay. So stop screen. Again, I'm showing receipts here. So let's go to Everyday Miriam's channel on Social Blade. Y'all look. Y'all look at this. Okay. There's there's my channel right there. Look at the grade of my channel. B minus. I'm not in an A yet. I'm working on it. All my numbers are in the green, Chantal. Look at that. I'm a much smaller channel than you. There's my channel. You got that? Okay. So y'all just saw my, my channel is rated as a B minus. Now let's look at Miss I'm Striving for 100K Everyday Miriam. That's right. Let's look at her. What's her grade on Social Blade? What have we got? Look at that. D minus. Ooh. Bad. Very bad. D minus. Ooh, look at all those numbers in red. Ooh. Horrible. Horrible. Do you see, Chantal? Do you see how quality matters versus quantity? That it's not about the numbers. It's not about the front number on your page. It's about caring about your channel. And you can have a great channel. It could be a small channel or a big channel. As long as you care about it, as long as you care about your audience and you care about your content, which I do. And a lot of people on other channels, they care about their audience and their content as well. Hence the reason why they're doing better than you. Has nothing to do with the front number. But... Let's keep going. Let's finish this out. Very difficult. But you're right. Keep working hard to get that silver plate button rubbing in her face. You're almost there. Really? She's such a piece of work. Yeah. Yeah, true, Rebecca. No, if I don't talk about her, this is like good content for her. This is going to be. All right. So you hate FFG. You don't like her, but yet. You're handing her great content to make money off of, you idiot. <laughs> Who would do that for their enemy? If you hated somebody, why would you help them make money? <laughs> It'd be good content for her. If if I don't talk about her, she'll, she has to go back to like watching my mukbangs and complaining about it. Loser. You know, FFG isn't saying anything that a lot of other reactors have also said. A lot of people have said, the mukbang content, it's boring. It's boring. A lot of people have said it. It's just that you target her because of the size of her audience. That's why. Thanks, Cozy. Inshallah. There's a lot of museums here. Hello, Rosemary, baby mama. You've li literally never said anything about her being Jewish. She has said so much about your religion. It's insane. Okay, you know what? She's going on and on and on about the same crap. I'm done with it. it we're just recycling back again. I'm not here for that. So I'm going to cut off this React video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you so much for being here and have a good one. Bye.